Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have the 740i M Sport Saloon. This car is finished off in mineral white metallic and is a March 2020 registered vehicle. One main option set in this vehicle, which is the M Sport Plus package. So I'll run through those individual options and obviously some of the standout features that you get on the 7 Series. This is the LCI variant, obviously the March 2020 car. So we have the new enlarged kidney grille, which is more imposing front end with those slimmer headlights as well. It's obviously the full icon adaptive LED headlights as standard on the 7 Series. So the, uh, the adaptive system works via the steering wheel input, helps brighten up the road ahead based on where you're steering. Basically, lights bend in that direction to help brighten up the road ahead. Moving around, we've got the 20 inch the M Light Star Spoke Alloy Wheel. That is one of the options as part of the M Sport Plus pack. This beautiful diamond cut front face to them. So, this diamond cut front face, that dark grey inlay, really makes the wheels pop and stand out, and obviously emphasizes the M Sport brake calipers there. And that also being a part of the M Sport Plus package. Moving around with the rear sun protection glass, yet another feature of the Plus package, M Sport Plus package. Also gives it an element of privacy for the rear of the car, and there is a UV element there as well. So, it does help keeping the cabin a bit cooler on the hot days as well as protecting the passengers from some of those harmful UV rays. We've also got that rear lip spoiler on the boot there. Another option, part of the M Sport Plus package. Move around the rear with the LCA update. We've got this new light bar on the back of the car, which you can see there continues underneath the chrome piece of trim underneath the BMW roundel badge. Into the boot, power tailgate is standard on the 7 Series. Extremely deep boot, I'm not sure how much this camera will pick up in terms of the depth, but it keeps going back there. There's some pretty supremely practical in terms of fitted luggage in the back here. Moving to the rear of the car. I just locked the car. The car does have comfort access, which I was going to explain in a second, but I might as well do that now. So, comfort access, touch the door handle, and you can basically lock the car or unlock it, vice versa, depending on whether it's already locked or open. Uh, and this car does have the updated system with comfort access as well. So, by approaching the car from three meters away, the car will recognize the key. Put the welcome lights on, the puddle lights, and then as you get from about a meter away, the car will fully unlock, so nice and easy to enter the vehicle. Then on, upon leaving, the car itself will lock itself from about a meter, sort of leaving the vehicle, and then the lights will turn off as of when you're safe enough away. In the car, we've got the black exclusive Napa leather. Again, standard in the 7 Series, beautiful quilted stitching through the central part of the seats, that lovely white piping as well. Some grey contrast stitching in places. There is a third seat in the middle, but really what these 70s is about is dropping that down for the extra support. And obviously having the beautiful comfort of the rear seats. You can also see the M stitching there on that seat belt. That is the last option. It's part of the M Spot Plus package. We've got the fine line black wood fin trim finish as well. You know, that's just picking up the door card underneath the ambient lighting system. Rear passengers also benefit there from the own ventilation controls so a full four zone system in the seven series as standard, as well as the heated rear seats as standard. Also got the cl soft closed door functionality as well, so the door just ever slightly catches the latch, we then pull it in on its own. Yet again, standard on the 7 Series. Moving to the front of the car. This time I'll try and get in without locking it again. There we go. We have to see that black fine line wood trim finish a bit better now. 
So it runs through all four door cards, through the central dashboard as well, and around the gear selector and iDrive controllers. So yeah, they've got the Harmony Carden, that Dolby 7 surround sound, multi-speaker system as standard. We've got the galvanic finishes as well, a beautiful metal finish to all the switch gear. Then the door cards, as well as around the ventilation and audio controls. We have the full comfort seats are standard, obviously full electric seat system, lumbar support, side bolster support, got the leg extension support there, so it's the base adjustment, backrest adjustment, with the top half of the, the backrest being able to adjust independently. And again, that quilting effect and piping runs through the front seats as well. Right, stepping into the car. Being the LCR variant, we've got the updated infotainment system as well and dashboard, so we're now running the live cockpit professional. So the new digital layout, a bit more configurable than the previous system in the 7 Series. You really get it set up on Daldi, and I've got that new map view as well in the centre there, which can be switched on and off. Moving across the central screen, we have the live cockpit professional with the BMW OS 7 operating system, so we've got this new pages of information which you can obviously customise and set up to basically give the information that's relevant to you that you want to see. As you can see, it's full touchscreen capability there. We do have gesture control for doing various different actions. Also the fabulous iDrive dial with the touchpad on top and also the voice activation with the new Hey BMW system as well. Moving on down, we've got some of the beautiful soft touch finishes here, the ventilation controls here for the central vents. Very easy to use. So you've got the galvanic finishes there and the switch gear around the audio controls, ventilation controls. As you can see, the front passengers have heated seats as well, that freeway heated seat seems the rear. And like I said, their own zones as well as the full zone system throughout the vehicle. Fine line wood as well finishes for the central part, this soft closed drawer here, do have the wireless charging pad with enhanced Bluetooth for standard. That's the cup holders there, next to USB points. Also run the fabulous 8-speed set of gearbox, the automatic gearbox. And this obviously been the fourth charge, got the glorious inline six turbocharged petrol engine, a silky smooth engine. Uh, it really does suit, suit the characteristics of the 7 Series extremely well. And when paired with the 8 speed ZF gearbox, just beautiful, a beautiful pairing there. So full auto hold functionality. You see some of the galvanic finishes as well. We've also got the ceramic finish as well to the iDrive dial here, as well as the ventilation controls here, and the volume switch there, and that has the ceramic finish to them. Moving up, I'm just going to put the car in reverse, which will then bring up the full park assistance plus package as standard. So that's the full 360 degree surround view. And we've got the overhead view here on the right and the left hand view. Basically, that switches around based on what part of the car is close to. Also, close to this hedge here, hence why it's on the reverse. You've also got different things a 3D view where you can choose the point of the vehicle you want to see. Zoom around like so. You also link that with the My BMW app as well, so have that same view via the app for you to see what's going on around your vehicle. Built in with the Park Assistance Plus, you also have the new drive recorder, so that's the built-in dash cam using the 360 degree cameras. Um, it basically works like a sort of independent dash cam, which you sometimes see in the rear view mirrors and the rear window, but we're using the built-in cameras to do that, so, so no need for any additional cameras or wiring in the vehicle for a dash cam. Finish on the steering wheel, a galvanic finish yet again finished off on the steering wheel, all the audio controls here, volume controls, got the cruise control, speed limit control on the left. We've also got the high beam assistance as well linked there with the adaptive LED headlights. This has been a one owner registered vehicle, like I said it's a March 2020 vehicle, mileage is 7,930 um, and this has been a daily rental vehicle which we recently just bought. Beautiful condition, inside and out, of the extremely luxurious 7 Series here. I 
I hope this video has been of use. If you do need any further information, please do get in contact. One of our sales executives will be more than happy to help. And thanks for your time.